G'day crew. Um, just having a couple of uh, yarns about some spearfishing footage and stuff uh, up on the cliff while walking the dog. Thought it was a bit better than doing it at home, so um, yeah, this first bit of footage is um, probably one of the sickest clips that I've got in my personal opinion. Just like epic dive and just epic little drop the way that it played out and um, was just so stoked to get it on film because I was panicking a wee bit that I wasn't going to get this bit on film. And as you guys will know, like a lot of snapper hunters and that will know that you get sort of um, schooling snaps up on the pressure points pre-spawn when they're, they're gathering up like that. Sometimes you can bump into schools of them. Yeah, anyway, this time I sort of got out and I was kind of, I come down onto this lip and there was a, so up on the pressure point where the current's coming onto, there was a big slope uh, outward from me, a big kelpie slope. And um, I seen all these snapper out there sort of bawling. I thought, those are like probably three kilo-ish, four kilo-ish fish, nice fish, you know. And I thought, I'm gonna have a crack at this and launched off the, um, off the lip to, to get out into the, um, into the kelp. And I sort of hit the GoPro and you guys that use GoPros will know that they can stall and sort of takes about five seconds for them to come on. And I hit it and I was like, shit, turn on, turn on. I couldn't hear it going on and I was like getting closer and closer and I was seeing all these fish. And then I heard it beep and I was like, yes. And I was sort of giving them that real deep sort of throaty grunt. <laughs> because any fish that was sort of out on the outskirts, I thought maybe a couple of nice ones might come in as I'm grunting and then um, uh, before they spook I might get a shot if I'm sort of low enough there. So as I was sort of sinking down that actually happened, um, had a kingy come in and then a nice big snap behind it. Well, uh, when I say nice, I, I thought it was probably about 10 or 12 pound or so. And then um, I was like, shit, gotta get this sort of shot before the, the kingfish was about to sort of cough block me. And um, I ended up yeah, shooting high because I thought that the spear was going to dive, but that little roll of the, it's a six and a half mil shaft and it shoots pretty flat out, out pretty far when it's, got a, when it's powered. And um, yeah, just hit it high. And then when the fish sort of, obviously it penetrated and the fish sort of come up, um, up sort of to my left over the top. Um, it was, I could tell by the way it was fighting, that it was a lot better than what I'd thought yeah landed it and it was a good holder it was, wasn't really going to go anywhere and cool to have like because quite often you know it's it's always sort of your, your your snapper or your top down with the the shaft out the mouth or shaft out the bottom of the fish so it's always cool to have a nice snapper and have the shaft like you know coming slightly up into them or horizontal so um yeah landed that one got it on the boat my mate who was on the boat he was with another new diver and um, I think they've got a kingy and it says, oh, I'll chuck us the guts and I'll throw them over and just get a bit of footage. There's so many bloody fish down there. So they did and I, I did a little bit early and I went back and, and did one drop before they left and they were just sitting on the boat waiting for me and man, there was some good fish in there. There was like a four or five sort of really nice fish at the back that caught onto me as I dropped. They were really onto it after that shot and they kind of got out of there. And then um, I had um, oh, just seething nice fish right in under there, like quite a few fish around that 15 pound, it was sort of be between 10 and 15 pound. And um, yeah, then just left them to it. So, so yeah, I sort of feel like, you know, it's bloody good to, you know, you take one and then if you can feed the rest a bit of food and um, whatever, sort of give back to them. And then hopefully next time they're bloody still hanging around there and um, yeah, sort of look after the resource a bit. Keeps you going for a while, fish like that. So. Um, yeah, just stoked with it and, and stoked with that bit of footage and, gr and grunting in a, a big snap. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, try to kick out a few more of these little videos. I've got quite a few clips that I'd like to sort of chat about. Um, if you want to see more, like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.